When you pick up a Fire TV stick, like the worst features are turned on. Features that allow Amazon to monitor and track what you are doing on your device. They then use that to advertise to you, but having those features turned on really slow it down your device. So in this video, I'm gonna show you which features to turn off, which is going to help your Fire TV stick run better, smoother, and stop Amazon from tracking everything that you do on your device, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So are you tired of Amazon tracking everything that you do on your Fire TV stick? Well, I know that I am. So let me show you some features to turn off that are going to stop that tracking and speed up your Amazon Fire TV stick. Now, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos like this one. And with that said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here we are in the Fire TV home screen. What I wanna do is I wanna go over to settings. So let's scroll over to settings right there. Come on, don't be so slow. Let's go down here and we are going to start out by going to My Fire TV. I'm gonna click on About and I'm gonna go down to Check for Updates. So it's gonna check for updates, make sure that everything is up to date. That way you have all of the features turned on or whatever that we are going to be setting up right now. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and back out of here. Next up at the very bottom here, reset to factory default. So in case this worst possible scenario, something is wrong with your Fire TV stick, you can always go here to reset it back to factory settings. Okay, so let's back out of here. We are now gonna jump over to preferences. So click on preferences, down below that privacy settings, device usage data. This personal data collected by the operating system of this device for marketing and product improvement purposes. Turn that off. Go ahead, yes, turn it off. You can read that message if you want to. Collect app data usage. Allow the app store to collect information on the frequency and duration of use of downloaded apps. No, turn that off. Internet-based ads. Allow apps on this device to use your advertising ID to show your interest-based ads on this device. No, turn that one off too. Yes, turn it off. Those are going to be the most important ones that you're gonna to wanna to turn off. So let's back out of there. Let's go over to data monitoring. Now, if you can turn this one off, I would recommend turning it off. Data monitoring is going to essentially monitor the data. So if you have internet caps as far as your usage, then you might wanna keep this one on. So that way you can select you know, your best video quality and different things like that. Personally, I don't have any caps, so I am going to be turning that off. Don't monitor the data that I am using. Next, notification settings. I don't want any notification settings. This is a little bit tricky. Do not interrupt, it's turned off. We want this one turned on. So it says right here on the side, turn off to show application notification pop-ups. So if it's on, it will not show that stuff. A little tricky with the wording there. Let's back out of that one, featured contents. We're gonna go ahead and turn both of these off. So allow video autoplay, allow audio autoplay. What that means, let me go ahead and back out of here and I'll show you really quick. If you scroll all the way up to the top right here, so if we're clicked on, say one of these previews right here, see how it automatically just starts playing? I don't want that. I don't want an automatic playing that just takes up resources. Let's go ahead and go back to preferences. We are gonna go down to featured content and we're gonna turn both of these off. Don't automatically play anything for me. Perfect, all right, we got a few more here. Backing out of this, we're gonna go just up one to applications. Let's click on applications here. We are going to go to Amazon Photos, the first one here. So if you're not familiar with Amazon Photos, this is a way for you to upload your personal photos and you know use them for screensavers, different things like that. But it does take resources and slows your device down. I'm gonna go ahead and say, guests do not connect to this to upload devices and then I'll access to my Amazon Photos. It is enabled. I'm gonna go ahead and say disable. Disable photos, perfect, whoops. Disable right there, perfect. So that is turned off too. Okay, next thing that I want to go to is we're going to go to the App Store. We have a few more things here. Automatic updates, I like to turn mine off. I don't want it to automatically update unless I want to run the updates. It's the worst thing when you want to watch something and it all of a sudden just automatically tries to update on you. In-app purchases, turn that off. I got little kids using mine. I like to have mine off. You don't have to have yours if you don't want to. I don't want in app purchases off. And then lastly here, notifications. I'm going to go ahead and turn those off too. I don't want any kind of notifications being sent to me. I want a great viewing experience. Nothing else bothering me. 
And that's pretty much it. So those are the settings that you need to turn off on your Fire TV stick to have Amazon stop tracking you and to get better performance out of your device. If this information was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you guys in the next video.